shake your booties for black girl nerds. There is a theme of collective consciousness or preparing humanity for collective consciousness in the movie. Can you speak a little bit more about your approach to directing the actors with that in mind? Um, well, sort of artificial intelligence yeah. is like a theme that runs through the, the whole yeah. film in terms of like having an entity that can make up its own mind and make up its own decisions and has to make its own choices. Yeah. And, and how we educate that system to be able to make the right choices uh, is something that I find really fascinating and is something that's going to be really important for all of us as AI becomes a bigger and bigger part of our lives. Uh, being an actor is kind of the same thing. Like these actors in them in the moment need to make choices that define their character. Yeah. Uh, but the great thing about casting talents like Clara and Hillary is yeah. that you can trust their autopilot. Like those those women when they get in the moment when they're in the zone, the choices that they make surprise even me. So I'm there on the outside being able to to guide and give them context and give yeah. them background. But then I really want to know what choices that they make. Now. As I was watching this movie, I was thinking about how, you know, man striving to create something. Um, well, let me just put it this way. In the film, embryos are created by robots. Can, while we know that science can create a human body, who is to nurture the human spirit in these types of futuristic societies? Or um, can you speak to that? Can you speak to the notion of a body but without a soul? And can a robot nurture the soul? Yeah, well, it's an interesting distinction because the, the we don't really know what the source of the embryos are within the film. Like, I, I assume that's a biological process that's brought them into the, mm -hmm. the bunker, but certainly what the film focuses on is, is can a robot raise a human? Yeah. And what does that look like? You know, ha what makes that robot prepared and ready and capable of raising a human? But you could ask the same question of, human parents like how do you know when you're ready what wisdom do you impart like how do you not pass on your failings onto that child or like yeah. your assumptions about the world that may or may not be right yeah. and, and there's no easy answer to that which is why we've gone and made a whole film about it um it's messy business you know yeah. like how how did you decide what's right and wrong for yourself separate to what you've been told by your parents is something that's like very central to this film and the same distinction is made between like a robot making its own mind up about what's right from wrong did it determine for itself what's right and wrong or was it programmed the same way that a child is programmed to think in a similar kind of fashion to the what their parents believe now there was a scene um in the movie when um Clara's character and Hillary's character interacting and I think that Clara sees a book for the first time and Hillary's character um, begins to explain to her some of the people in her life and their names were Jacob, Rachel and Simon and these are biblical names is there a qu was that deliberate is there a sub narrative there what's the correlation uh, there's an answer to that but it gets slightly into spoiler territory okay but I'll say that nothing is an accident in this yes. film like particularly because Michael and I have worked together for so long on the screenplay and we'd have to justify every little detail yeah. to each other stuff like that doesn't go by unnoticed daughter is very loyal to mother is that a social commentary on programming and the ideological constructs that we attach to certain things in relationships I think it's just a product of, of her world and her experiences. You know, mother is all that daughter's ever known. Like, from her point of view, she's as natural and inevitable as all of our mothers seem to us. Like, she believes in, trusts, and, and loves mother. So she's not quick to throw that aside. It really needs to be tested and stretched and pulled before it'll break. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.